problem that I have chosen is sum of prefix scores of a string. Here in this question, you are given an array of words. What do you need to do? You need to identify the sum of scores of every non-empty prefix of each word given in the question. So I'll be explaining you the entire question as well as the algorithm behind it via test case. So let's quickly hop on to the BPT. Now let's get back to the question. I have taken the same example that was specified. We have the elements as A, B, C, A, B, B, C and B. What do we need to do? We need to identify the score of each word given in the question. The score of A, B, C, the score of A, B, the score of B, C and score of B. And how do we define the score of A, B, C? The score of A, B, C is equal to the score of A plus the score of AB plus the score of ABC. All the prefix strings that exist as part of ABC, their cumulative score should be added up and it should be returned as a final score of ABC. So let's start the iteration. Uh, let's start from ABC itself. What do we do? Let's start the iteration. Uh, the first string that we have is ABC and we will check the prefix continuous substrings that exist in this input string. The first one is A. So the score of A gets updated to 1. The next string is AB. The score of AB gets updated to 1. The next string is ABC. The score of ABC gets updated to 1. Let's proceed ahead. The next string that we have is AB. And let's calculate the contiguous prefix that exists in my input string. The first string is A. The score of A gets updated to 2. The score of AB gets updated to 2. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have bc as the input string and bc has two uh, strings in it which is the first one is b and second one is bc uh, the score of b gets updated to one the score of bc gets updated to one next we have is b and b only have one uh, sub sub prefix string which is b so the score of b gets updated to two Finally, we have the map as ABC has a score 1, AB has a score 2, A has a score 2, and BC has a score 1, B has a score 2. Our pre-processing is complete now. Again, we will iterate over the input string, which is ABC, and we will check what is the score of A, what is the score of AB, what is the score of ABC, and we will add the three these three scores together. What is the score of A? The score of A is 2. What is the score of AB? The score of AB is 2. What is the score of ABC? The score of ABC is 1. So we will add these 3 scores together. We get 5 and the final score of string ABC is 5. Let's proceed ahead. The next word that we have is AB. Uh, what all substrings corresponds to AB? It is A and AB. Uh, we check the score of A. The score of A is 2. The score of AB is 2. So the answer corresponding to this string gets updated to 4. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have BC and there are two substrings possible which the first one is B, the second one is BC. The score of B is 2, the score of BC is 1. So the answer corresponding to this is 3. Next we have is B, the score of B is 2, so the answer corresponding to this string is P. Uh, if we go by this approach that we have just highlighted, uh, it's using maps and it is highly memory extensive. How can we optimize on the memory? We can use tries over here. So let me just represent these scores in the form of tries. Let's start the iteration from the first string. The first string that we have is ABC. So let's write ABC over here. And the first character that we see is A. So let's create the try. It will have A in it and the score will be 1. Let's proceed ahead. The next character that we have is B. So let's start a new branch starting from A. It will have B associated with it. The score of B, A, B is again 1. So let's update it to 1. Next we have is C. So let's start a new branch C over here. And the score of A, B, C is again 1. So let's update it to 1. Let's proceed ahead. The next string that we have is A, B. So let's start the iteration from A itself. And what we are going to do, we'll update the score of A. The score of A gets updated to 2. Next string that we have is A, B. A, B is al already exists in this try. So the score gets updated to 2. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is B, C. So the first character that we have is B. So the score of B gets updated to 1. And uh, the next character that we have is C. So the score of C gets updated to 1 again. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have is B. The score of B uh, gets updated to 2 because uh, B already exists as part of the try. So this is our entire try and we have the root somewhere over here. And what we are going to do? 
we will calculate uh, the score of each and every string given in the array if you carefully analyze then the score of abc is represented by 1 which is this the score of ab is represented by 2 which is which ends over here the score of a represented by 2 which ends over here the score of bc is 1 which is represents over here the score of b is 2 which is represented over here so we have appropriately calculated the scores of each prefix string and uh, it is in sync with our previous map that we created now again we can use this try to calculate the score of each and every string given in the input words it's exactly the same just remember we are just storing a score value with each character in our try to quickly conclude this question up let's walk through the coding section and i'll exactly for the same steps as i've just talked here in the first go i've created the root of the try and uh, my node has a new attribute named as score this is a children attribute that we usually have as part of the try let's look at the core method that we need to create some prefix scores what do we do we basically add those elements as part of the try and this is the addition helper method that i have created moving ahead i create the result array we calculate the score of each and every word and simply return the result so the problem reduces to writing this add method and calculate method appropriately so let's walk through the add method first and then we'll walk through the calculate method uh, we create it in a temporary variable if uh, we iterate character by character if my temp at that particular child node is null we create a new node we update the score value as well we update the temp variable uh, so that we move in the tree towards the child nodes and this is pretty simple and straightforward we have been doing this from quite some time uh, let's walk through the calci method it's again really simple we have created an answer variable uh, we for iterating over the input string we have stored the root reference in the form of a temporary variable we start the iteration uh, we iterate over the input string character by character we check the score at temp of child of that particular node and we extract the score value we add it to ans and we update the temp variable for the uh, for moving on to the child nodes and once we are out of this loop we simply return the ns variable let's try this out accepted uh, with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded with this we have successfully completed all four solutions of the weekly contest c11 all the all of them are referenced below in the description so do check them out if you are interested thank you